from what I've heard of, this channel is really keen on making these animals look like monsters. This python, for example. So, the person who requested the video suggested me to, um, review three videos in one. So, okay then, enjoy. We're outside enjoying the day, taking our python for a walk. Are you a happy girl? The python enjoys stretching her legs. This kind of feels like animal abuse. Not to mention that uh, this python over here does not have legs to walk. When we stumbled across a squirrel inside a trap. This is definitely animal abuse over here. I'm not surprised how this video has more dislikes than likes. Snake to the rescue. What could possibly go wrong? Aw, poor squirrel. The snake seems to be worried about him. No, the squirrel is worried about the snake that it might just eat the, the squirrel. This is Melody. Melody asked us to remove her collar so she can help out. Melody the carpet python. Carpet pythons are found in Australia. It's a well-known fact that anything in Australia wants to kill you. Why is this channel not taken down yet? Because look at how they are treating these animals. Melody loves helping out. If she sees a squirrel in trouble, she naturally wants to get the squirrel and make sure it's okay. The squirrel would rather be somewhere else. This is probably a wild squirrel, and you trapped it in a cage. Well, things didn't go as planned. <laughs> Naughty snake. The thing about chills is that they are actually quite chill. But with this channel, this is just completely stupid. Because the, you, you, you just caused a wild squirrel to die. Aw, poor squirrel. We're outside enjoying the day, taking our python for a walk. Reptile Channel crew is professionally trained and receive off-camera assistance from experts in handling large and or dangerous reptiles in various situations. Um, why did you trap an innocent squirrel in a cage just to get eaten by this python? And you're also making the python look like a monster. It's a loose, loose situation. By the way, she loves going for long walks in the neighborhood. When we stumbled across a squirrel inside a trap. Any way of getting him out? The snake seems to be worried about him. It's just reused footage from the intro. Melody loves helping out. Are you a happy girl? Anyways, she loves going for walks around the neighborhood. She'll play with neighborhood kids, loves soccer and kickball. She's pretty good, too. Is this a wild python or is this a tamed python? Um, and also, how does this python play with humans? Uh, this, this video is not making any sense right now. The children love her. Snakes are better than dogs because unlike dogs, snakes don't bite people. Sure, snakes can bite people. You probably deserved it. While it's fun to watch, it's probably painful. Oh no, it seems the squirrel passed out. Okay, so it probably passed out because of the sight of the python. Spoiler, the python does not have venom. It is not venomous. Melody's giving the squirrel mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. Thank God Melody was around to save the squirrel. This snake did not save the squirrel. This snake just ate the squirrel. Melody is actually a carpet python jungle python hybrid. So I sped up this segment of the video to eight times speed because it's just the python devouring the squirrel. So there we go. Mmm, squirrel. 
the other white meat. She's a true hero. What do you mean true hero? Nothing makes sense at all. Thank you, Melody. Melody, having unfortunately eaten the squirrel, slithers off to digest her meal. Thank you for joining this season of Reptile Channel. So the rest of the video is just another narrator explaining uh, the importance of snakes in the ecosystem, biodiversity. Obviously, the snakes are an important part of the ecosystem. Basically, every animal is important in their ecosystem, with um, especially in their food chains and stuff. Without one of them, th their food chain just falls apart, and this biodiversity will crumble. We're already in the next video, which is cool. All right, let's go. He's dragging it around by the face. You're not gonna believe this. Have you ever seen an anaconda take a raccoon for a walk? Do you mean that is just going to devour the raccoon as shown here? Well, mark it off your bucket list. No, no, no! Wow, nature. You scary. Young raccoons are curious about snakes. Does this channel know how predator-prey relations work? I don't really have to explain why this is just wrong. Just to let you know, guys, we're surrounded by several giant man-eating sized snakes. This is the smallest one. The other two are massive in size. You'll see them shortly. What a monster. These are animals, not monsters. The fact that you call them monsters, that is just wrong and stupid. In this episode of Reptile Channel, an anaconda finds a wild raccoon and decides to make a meal out of it. By the way, if you haven't already, you should subscribe to this channel. I'm not subscribing to this channel, alright? Subscribing to Reptile Channel will change your life in magical ways. God, this channel is such a train wreck. I have a point there because of all this animal abuse. Oh my god. You're outside, resting against a tree. When an anaconda comes along and drags you away, kicking and screaming. This is just Jumanji. Um, uh, yeah, I think this is Jumanji. Anyways, Jumanji has the wildest creatures. How rude. Stupid giant anacondas. When you have giant man-eating sized snakes prowling outside for food... Curiosity killed the cat raccoon. Also, this this just treats the, the python like a monster. And then... They, they, it seems like they found a dead raccoon on the side of the road feed to their snakes. This is amazing. There's nothing you can do. Nobody's going to help you. Last time they tried, it was like a scene out of the movie, Anaconda. Ugh. Not pretty. This is never before seen in nature, folks. Never before seen. Um, what are you talking about, never before seen? Oh my god. The raccoon was minding his own business when the Anaconda came along and suddenly grabbed it by the face. No, no, no! Also, did you notice that edited for YouTube? They, 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 they probably could have just been faking it and just went with the dead raccoons instead of the alive raccoons. Spell this scene to four times because it's just the anaconda devouring the raccoon. In just a moment, a massive 20 plus foot long python cleverly taps the anaconda on the neck with her tail, distracting him, then quickly grabs the sleeping raccoon. 
That's not a sleeping raccoon. That is a dead raccoon. Amazing! The giant python grabs the meal from the anaconda. This is never before seen in nature, folks. Stealing food. This is definitely seen in nature millions of times over the course of the history of the planet. Python distracted the anaconda, quickly grabbing the raccoon. Seriously? Brother. What trickery? Also, sometimes it just goes to different scenes, making this channel clickbait. My gosh, this snake is huge! In the last footage we showed, it has a lot of sticks. This one, however, has few sticks. It could just be from a different angle, but I don't really know. I don't... I doubt that. Aw, it's partner. Obviously upset. Unfortunately, one of our camera persons is in the coils of the largest anaconda. Nope, these are definitely different areas because of the sticks. But don't worry, the camera is fine. Good grief. Aww. Raccoons are so cute. In the middle of a raccoon being devoured. What sort of logic is this? This person is definitely um, a sadist. The giant reticulated python will make quick work of its meal. Goodbye, Rocky. You were a sweet trash panda. Why are you being so happy in in the feeding scene out of everything? A feeding scene, it's supposed to be serious. I just want to tickle those adorable feet. This just feels so wrong, like, who? Why does YouTube allow this sort of content on their site? Look at that cute snoot. Don't you just want to boop it? What did you just say? Uh, I thought you said poop it for a sec. These videos are not educational or fun, alright? They just clearly show the uh, animal abuse that this channel engages in. A lot of animal abuse. This is going to be the final video, by the way, and that anaconda has a painful respiratory infection. So, yeah, as a result of all of these, all of these wild feeding, uh, instead of caring for this anaconda's health, they just keep on just feeding wild animals to them and let them go ham and all that. Nothing on this channel remotely makes any sense, especially if you're sane. We had a bit of an incident filming this video, as you'll see shortly. The short of it? You're feeding this guy a dead pig. No wonder why it has a respiratory infection. That pig probably had a virus. Never, ever film a giant snake alone, especially a hungry one. Damn crazy snake, get your fat butt out of here! What does a giant anaconda feed on, you ask? 
When you're a man-eating sized mountain of muscle, anything you want. They prey on whatever they get their coils around. Including wild pigs, deer, birds, and even powerful jaguars fall prey to this monstrous water boa. Monstrous. That's not how you call an animal. And this is a previously dead pig. The anaconda is bigger around than a pig. Tremendous constricting power. She smells something. Fortunately for the pig, on this day, the giant serpent wasn't interested in pork. No, this snake was hungry for something else. Need to keep the door closed. Remember when I said anacondas feed on birds? The anacondas in the chicken coop again. Wait. Damn crazy snake, get your <gasps> fat butt out of here. Oh my, oh my, oh my god. god. Then why did you leave the chicken coop open for the snake? It doesn't make any sense. Why did you let the snake get into the chicken coop? Because the chicken coop is open. No, nothing. What even is going on? You better not bite me. Oh my gosh. Hurry up, hurry I up. I need your help. Quick, get hurry this snake up. out of here. Get this MF snake, the MF out of here. Oh my no, god. No, no, no. Oh my god. god. No, no, no. Oh my this video just demonizes this poor snake as if its respiratory infection is not enough. Great. Just great. She smells chicken, the other white meat. She's not in the mood for a pig. The anaconda is slithering to the other side of the compound, to where the free-range chickens are. We made three mistakes. One, the camera person is alone. Two, door to the chicken coop should not have ever been left open. This is probably scripted and intentionally open for the snake to get in to eat the chickens. Basically, it is intentionally open for the content. And three, and most important, never ever interfere with a giant hungry constrictor from feeding by yourself. A recipe for disaster. And you could have just gotten the snake out of the chicken coop. Just use your hands. When giant constrictors are in prey drive, it's wise to give them a very wide berth. Do not interfere between an anaconda and her prey. We use this video as part of a university master's thesis on the feeding behavior of a large constrictor in an open natural setting. The caveat is that this snake has respiratory infection. This is a snake's natural feeding response given free will and opportunity in an open free range environment. The anaconda declined to feed her pig of much greater caloric resource in favor of a free-range chicken with considerably less so. This is not a caring snake owner. Just give them large amounts of meat. This will definitely not be able to replenish the snake's needs. This lends us to believe caloric density isn't the only drive. Nutrients over calories. The chicken offers proteins and or essential amino acids. So does any other animal for that matter. Why specifically just chickens? It doesn't take long for the snake to engulf its little meal. Look at that cute snoot. Don't you just want to boop it? Having satisfied what it came for, the giant slippery tube dude slithers out the way it came. The anaconda is also known as a big thick boy. Poor snake, man. You should have just taken care of the snake properly instead of being abusive. Also known as a nope nope. Like a thief in the night, the snake boy crosses the compound, passes the pig, and enters its domain to digest its tiny meal. Why does this channel have to treat snakes so poorly, man? Besides making stuff for content, I couldn't think of any other reason. Yeah, you get the point. This channel is just absolutely stupid, brain rot, 
and should just be taken down. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you all next time.